what brings you out tonight? Oh, Stocker Channing, Stocker Channing, six degrees to Stocker Channing. Well, it sounded like an interesting party. I wanted to see the space, I've never been here, and six degrees of Stocker Channing just sounded like, what is this all about? Let me come check it out. Well, I have three degrees of separation from Stocker Channing, that's why I'm here. An evening honoring Stocker Channing, why wouldn't I be here? What degree from Stockard are you? I guess I'm one degree, right? If I if I know her. Well, I happen to be the lead producer of It's Only a Play, so I'm one degree away from Stockard, and she's a friend as well. I'm on uh, How to Get Away with Murder with Viola Davis, who is connected to Allison Janney from The Help, who Allison Janney did West Wing with Stockard. I'm doing a play with her, isn't that one separation? And we had sex years ago, so I think that counts as another one, yeah. I would say that counts. That might be zero degrees. Yeah, I think so. How do you feel about this lady? I feel exhausted, frankly. I directed the f***ing play. So I get to lie down now. You direct her. You can't. All I feel is we're having a great time, and it's great to have a party. Can you tell us one of your favorite Stockard performances? Oh, it actually is Six Degrees of Separation, both the play and the movie. Six Degrees of Separation, sure. Yeah, I remember watching that movie when I was pretty young. I mean, I was probably young, teenager, and it was one of those things that like truly influenced me. When I first saw Grease, and she was Rizzo in Grease, I fell in love with her. Oh man, I think her performance in this, It's Only a Play, is pretty spectacular. My favorite is has Virginia Noyes, and It's Only a Play. She's killing it every night right now on Broadway. It's one of the great comic performances of all time. You have to see it to believe it. What do you think of this crazy lodge rooftop situation we are in right now? Okay, I really don't think I'm in New York City right now. That's what I think of it. This is the coziest place in New York City right now. The lighting, the, the lodge feel, the like wood paneling. It's where you want to be when the weather is the way it is right now. But I mean, there's bunk beds over there. There's a full bedroom in here. I like it. I don't know who's renting the place, but I would live here. It's really cool. I think that there was a time when this would be the place where you come to have a lot of cocaine and a lot of sex. Maybe it's still happening, but I'm not aware of it. I feel like uh, I'm half my age. What I love is that all of these people came out in horrible weather in this obscure location to celebrate Stockard. And, and she is truly one of our greats. Everyone in this room knows it. A thousand people a night know it as well by the end of the night. She has the audience in the palm of her hands during the show and uh, I'm just proud to produce such a great performance. It's, it's a joy.